Oh, oh my. Oh, lady. I know you always like to walk around outside, but now you're you're part of outside. Oh, oh dear. Oh, this can't be real. Hmm. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Neopets the Darkest Fairy. <laughs> quite the... Hmm. Yeah, I'm still wondering if I'm awake or not. That was quite the dream. It's quite interesting that Grayson, of all people, is telling me that I have a mission? I've only had, like, one day of training so far, so to throw me on a mission, I'm not even sure. Then again... It could have been multiple days at this point. Who knows how long I've been sleeping. I'm not even sure the king knows who I am, to be completely honest. I definitely haven't met him. doesn't know yet? You think that the knight would know first, but I guess with the squire, you would be a delivery boy of the message, and then you'd be on our way. But yes, we have a dispute that needs dissolving, which is Kogum is being raided by Ixi, well, raiders, anyways. It does cause dialogue to change among the people in the castle, but I will get into that dialogue at a later time. Just because there's something interesting the more you leave it off. Hey! I have a feeling I know exactly what night we're talking about here. A wonderful person plated from head to toe. Oh, okay, they're gonna stand on my... okay. <laughs> he moved his head like a chicken. Jeez. Well, you are here to serve him, but not in the case of giving him food. Yeah, we're buddies. Except it's the morning, uh... Well, anyway, okay. Well, he's not big enough that he can't actually be removed from his chair. There's a big, wide-open space for his tail. Hmm. I don't look so happy that we have to give a town aid to our... It's not really a great look. <laughs> and then he repeats all his dialogue, and yeah, he's not budging. He's gonna shimmy, though. Alright. Well, our lead knight isn't going anytime soon, so what is there for us to do? We're only a squire. Hmm. Well, we can see our shield through our face. That's one. Hmm. Who could we talk to? Um. Oh, okay. Someone else is waiting at the front door. This is a good place to just hang out. Uh-huh. Hello. 
you wave off in the distance. Hmm? It looks like he's waving further away than I am. Hmm. go. Loopholes are always a good thing. This whole exchange kind of reminds me of a hmm. bunch of different jobs I've had in the past, even currently, where you kind of have to be a leader of a project, or a leader of uh, just an area or a building, and you have to make sure that hmm. your entire group is around before you can start the work. And I've been yelled at twice as much for trying to run around and actually grab all the people who are supposed to be part of that job. And it just kind of came to me going like, you know what, it's not part of my job description to actually go around on a wild goose chase trying to find the people who don't want to work. So I get the work done, I get yelled at half as much, and it's all good from there. I like to be yelled at not at all, but at least the work is getting done. And there's the dichotomy of the castle guard. Either they are worried about current events or stuck in the past. There you go. Alright, so there's not much really in order to do to stock up in Meridel. So let's head back to Drakenridge. The way to Cogham is going to be the south end of this area because the guard, who used to be here on the bridge, is gone. His role is done and wherever he might as well be is um, up to imagination pretty much. Let's just say one of two things. Either he went back to the castle because his duty is done, or the raiders got him. Take your pick. Alrighty. Let's see. That's all good. Not really much else to do in terms of this area. So let's head on in. This is something I really like to do in this area because we're getting into more of the mountain area of the game. It's just kind of slow down, take a look, because the camera doesn't do the game justice where there is some really high landscapes around you. And the mountains are certainly an area that I enjoy in games and just in life in general. The village doesn't really look all that great right now, does it? The music isn't helping. <laughs> nope, not at all. Yeah, the, the music's too calm for the situation that we're in, where, um, yeah, we're de they're definitely getting raided hard when all the buildings have some sort of fire coming out of them. Alright, let's get equipped. Um, let's start with some water modes, because... I'll get into this now, and I'll also probably repeat myself in the next video, is the Ixie Raiders, our wonderful guys here, wonderful redesigns of the Ixies, just to make them more, like, centaur-like, is they might have two elemental affinities, and I find that using water against them, because apparently they are mainly fire-based, is the best course of action. So yeah, if you have some water motes, which are really the easiest motes to pick up in the game at this point, go to town on them. And also make sure we figure out what is the general consensus of how the town is going as the music becomes schizophrenic. Completely schizophrenic. The other thing is that we also have not only henchmen, but also archers. I generally prefer blocking archer arrows with the shields, especially when they are 
They seem to be more fire-based than the other elements they seem to be tied to, according to just information I've tried to scour for. So reflecting their arrows back at them does a good deal of damage, because dealing with them in short range is... Uh, not as advised. <gasps> we might be able to see their short-range attack a little bit later on. Especially if I'm able to find where the other Ixies are, because they're certainly just patrolling everywhere, and I'm not really interested in my presence until I aggress against them. Instance, uh, nope. Either he is petrified in fear, or he is blind. Yeah, burning buildings, no go. Okay. Well, if everything's on fire, the best place to be is inside of the water. <laughs> right now, he's trying not to panic, so... Try not to do so as well. Okay. He went over there, and let's see what little big head is thinking about. Okay, nope. Alright, where did he go? All these guys really patrol, and then the rest of the residents are just kind of walking around like nothing's wrong. Here we go. I think that's all the ones on the main area, so let's head up. There's not a lot left. The only other place that we have to go is up here, which has one solitary little house. And there's a henchman over there, and an archer further down. So the thing about the archers is that long range they will fire arrows at you, which you can block back with proper timing. But short range they love to just kind of backflip into you and try to hit you with their back hooves. Which, if they do connect with you, whoa! Never seen them jitter like that. If they do connect with you, there's a high chance that they will knock you down, which makes you susceptible with m to more hits. If you're really good with your timing, you would be- you can block them, eventually. But I just finding taking the safer route, or the more powerful route, and using water motes and freezing them in place is also really good to do. I'm not really good with my voices, but I'm not sure what this duo would sound like. Either dopey, raspy, or just regular. Who knows? That seemed to drive them off. Uh. He he's around. Uh. <laughs> Never. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're cool. We're cool. <laughs> yeah, apparently Maridel doesn't really ex respect this town all that much. You think with getting raided all the time, you would have, like, a, a local force in order to deal with it? But apparently not. So yeah, the mayor is not going to talk to us until we actually get rid of the problem completely, which means that we have to get rid of the chieftain who is in the steps itself, further south of the town. Hmm. And while I would love to just jump into the mountains post-haste, let's get a feeling of the rest of the town and also hmm. get suited up before we actually head that way. Now with that attitude, you're not... Because for some reason, after the raid has been done, everybody kind of switches places. Gershwin found himself into this little corner here. Ugh. Well, good for you. Not a lot of people have that kind of observation. Anthropomorphically speaking, I feel like this is a nod to just the game in general, hmm. having all anthropomorphic creatures. Hmm. 
Yeah, there we go. Ah. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Hmm. I don't know. Ooh, ooh, that's a good face. Let's take, let's take a look at this. Oh, I wish the text box wasn't highlighting it. There we go. Okay, that's pretty. That's a pretty good face. And then it becomes all happy ah. again. Just innocent. Ooh. Yeah, I'll beat him up all again just for you. Just for you. That's almost a thank you, especially by his face briefly there. It's just like, it's good that you drove them off, but you really didn't solve the problem, so, um... Thank you, but no thank you. I know there's like one or two other people that are in this town. But I do want to check out. And the other thing, of course, is that all of the buildings have just miraculously lost their fire. Especially this little guy here. One voice for everybody. Alright, you just stay there. Take a chomp out of their leg. It's fine. Alright. Our four ar areas, our four little stores, hmm. that we- Whoa! Okay, I was reading the sign and it just decided to teleport me in. Didn't expect that to happen. Yeah, new stores! Let's see if they have anything, which... Pretty clearly, it looks like they do. Not much, um, unfortunately. But again, another weapon that we can't actually use. Nah. But, I think it's about time that we actually get an upgrade to the weapons that we already have. Like this knight's sword. Nice. Once we head into the steps, you will see a very noticeable difference in our attack strength. Now with this sword in hand. And I'll get rid of the sparklies that are around it so we can truly appreciate what it looks like. It's nice and reflective. It's really good. Also, I'm noticing that the blacksmith has pink shoes. <laughs> also, I can't talk to him, so I'm gonna reposition, re-enter the store and see if I can't actually talk to him this time. There we go. Okay. Can't be over in the corner, otherwise I can't do anything with you. Someone, oh, anyone, please come to our aid! My goodness. Now, there certainly isn't a whole lot because Kagam is a small town, but the things that are actually in here definitely do matter. <laughs> like this store. Great, the laugh is contagious. Well, I think that you have three really good items in here, two treasure maps and that neg, but the other two items are kind of, well, crap at this point. Always good to have a neg, though. Get us some more blue magic energy for our moats. And the other thing about the treasures at this point, this Shadow Glen treasure, um, we're going to have it for quite a while because that area is inaccessible for a very long time. But the Meridale Farms one, I can go and get pretty much at any time if I really wanted to. No new books. Uh, this one is in a weird spot because it likes to have me exit the store from the wrong angle. There we go. That's a pretty nice shot. Yeah, so the other two things that you will only have are Starlight Potions and Potions of Revival. Again, revival potions are kind of useless at this point. And starlight potions, well, I've never found a use for them. You can get through the game without them, pretty much, but I'll try to show them off at a more useful time. Now, if you've thought there was less in the mm. other stores, um, well, there is this store, which only has one thing to sell. Uh. 
what you can also try, man, is to not fuse yourself at the table. You are kind of a big guy, though. Our wooden shield has served its purpose up until this point. It's definitely been very handy, but let's get an iron shield now, which is rather nice. There we go, yeah. Now we're looking a little bit more professional with less wood stuff. Mm. With the dialogue as well, they're really pushing that it's not just that Kagum is being raided by the Ixies in town specifically, but the Ixies are also occupying a lot of the surrounding area, especially the mines, which is how Kagum gets its, well, economy, pretty much. It's a mining town. <sighs> Elspeth is an interesting character. Just keep her in mind. Because even though she doesn't say anything now, we're going to be coming back to her shortly. This is the place where you can get Peach Buzz if you are really desperate about going to a higher tier health restorative. But for 150 Neo Points, it's really not worth it at this point. I think that's all we have there. So, shiny new sword, shields and some maps, and a nice boost in our ability to do things, more things with our moats. I think we can really show off what we're able to do now and take down those Ixie Raiders to make sure that Kogum is... I wouldn't say better protected, but easier to maintain. So, I'll see you next time, everyone, as we head into the Kogum Steps.